The Amalfi Coast is an amazing cluster of cliffside towns on the southern coast of Naples, in southern Italy. It's a popular holiday destination in southern Italy visiting Sorrento Posicano Maori and many other popular places. Each town is different and we'll go over the pros and cons. Here are some tips to avoid making mistakes of booking your hotel in the wrong place and ruin your vacation. Subscribe to my channel so you can circle back to this video while you decide on a hotel. Another video discussing other towns will be released soon so make sure you press the subscribe button now. The Amalfi Coast forms the southern shore of the Sorrentine Peninsula, a mountainous spur of land about 30 kilometers south of Naples. With its soaring cliffs, picture-perfect villages, and dreamy blue seascapes, the Amalfi Coast is one of Italy's most spectacular destinations. It's also one of the busiest, and each summer, holidaymakers and day-trippers flock to its main towns, Positano, Amalfi, and Rivello. The Amalfi Coast runs for 40 kilometers from Positano in the west to Vietri Sul Mare in the east. Distances are not huge but traveling along the tortuous coastal road is time-consuming so it is extremely important to pick the right place to stay on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe to my channel so you can circle back to this video while you decide on a hotel. The Amalfi Coast is home to many different small villages and towns, each with their own specific culture and unique identity, which entice different types of travelers. Some visitors might be looking for the glamour and lively nightlife of Positano or the sleepy seclusion of Rivello, or perhaps the big sunny beaches in Mary. Accommodation in the different destinations varies, ranging from upper scale, big budget luxury, to family owned bed and breakfast, and everything in between. We have rounded up the top towns to stay in the Amalfi Coast so you can find the ideal place for your perfect holiday. I visited the Amalfi Coast several times and I learned from my mistakes of staying in a location which makes exploring the Amalfi Coast more difficult. Driving on the Costa Amalfitana is not easy especially if you choose to visit during the peak summer months where the roads get congested with traffic and large coaches blocking the roads. So here are some pro tips that will help you plan a better Amalfi Coast vacation. Make sure you watch till the end also because I have a surprise for you at the end. Positano is the town along the Amalfi Coast that everyone thinks of when you say, the Amalfi Coast. The sophisticated town of Positano sits on the western Amalfi Coast and is a great place to stay if you are planning on exploring other destinations around the coast, which include Capri and Ischia. The small town was once a mighty power of the seas, but nowadays is a pleasant resort where visitors can spend their time browsing the chic boutiques and dining out in the many seafood restaurants around the Grand Beach. As a result, Positano has earned popularity but this comes with a price. Staying in a popular destination like Positano is great as for those that want to stay where all the action takes place. But if you go to the town called Mayori you pay half the price. Priano, with its genuine and authentic atmosphere, far away from the mass tourism, Priano is characterized by narrow streets. The network of narrow streets make their way through the Mediterranean vegetation, terrace gardens and typical houses, leading directly to the sea. Here you can enjoy the most romantic sunset of the whole coast, the purple sun slowly disappears behind the mountains, illuminating in the background Capri with its Ferraglioni, the Sorrento Peninsula and Punta Campanella. Priano is more of a sleeping town with a very small downtown. Therefore it is perfect for families or couples who don't want to be caught in the crowds. Moreover, it's one of the flatter towns along the coast which also makes it great for the elderly. Therefore, if I go to the Amalfi coast it is likely I will stay here or Maori unless I can afford Capri. The island of Capri is easily the most exclusive island in Italy and one of the most exclusive destinations in the world so expect to pay premium prices in Capri. I love Priano because it is less expensive than Positano and Capri. An additional advantage of Priano is that it is centrally located along the coast which makes it ideal to explore the coast and save on traveling time. Rivello is the jewel in the coastal crown of the Amalfi Coast. This ravishing town sits on a mountain buttress 350 meters above sea level, removed from the frantic commotion in the towns below. If Positano is the glamour-busy town of the Costiera, Rivello is its refined, tranquil sister town. Like Amalfi, the town used to be much larger and richer. Its once elegant palazzi, secluded villas, dreamy gardens, magnificent views and romantic sense of faded glory have inspired a steady stream of writers, artists and musicians. Once the tour groups have gone, 
There's a real feeling of otherworldliness here, and you really should stay the night. Without wheels, Rivello is not an ideal base. Getting in and out of Rivello with public transport is slow not well connected with the coast's main transport and boat connections, making day tripping difficult. Rivello makes an ideal place to stay if you want peace and quiet, you don't want to share your Amalfi coast town with the crowds and you don't mind the lack of nightlife. Amalfi Amalfi is the town that gives its name to the whole coast as well as one of the most famous tourist destinations in the world for its history, monuments and natural setting that allowed to be declared by UNESCO World Heritage Site. Origins of Amalfi date back to the Roman time, as evidenced by the discovery of a nymphium belonging to a Roman villa built under the Emperor Tiberius. The tourist history of Amalfi coincides with the arrival of the North European travelers at the time of the Grand Tour, looking for remains of the Greek and Roman period and romantic views. From that moment Amalfi and the whole coast were rediscovered even by celebrities as locations for spending their Amalfitan holidays. Amalfi urban layout, especially in the historic center, has kept intact its medieval aspect, with the city gates. Amalfi makes an excellent base if, you don't plan to hire a car. It's centrally located, and as the coast main transport hub, has excellent bus and boat connections, making day tripping a breeze. If you want to stay put, there's plenty to see in town, including a beach, medieval cathedral, and churches. Subscribe to my channel as I will be releasing more videos about the Amalfi Coast in Italy and other amazing destinations of Italy. Sorrento is the most popular choice for travelers who are visiting this stretch of coast. The advantage of using Sorrento as your base during your holiday is its excellent connections with Capri, Positano, Amalfi, and Pompeii, in addition to its beautiful views and festive atmosphere. There are daily regular ferries to the beautiful island of Capri. Capri does not have an airport, therefore there are only two ways to reach the island of Capri, by boat and by helicopter. Staying in Capri is very expensive so you can visit Capri for a day. Watch this video about Capri and Ischia to learn more about these stunning two islands in the Bay of Naples, Italy. As promised I have a surprise for you so I left links in the description below where you can find all you need to plan the perfect Amalfi Coast vacation during 2022, including a discount of up to 30% on your car rental.